You know, I got to say though, if there's one thing I love about Thanksgiving, and, and I mentioned it uh, at the top of the show, but it's that it's that annual uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I watch it on television every year. It's fantastic. I think the entire country loves seeing it. But this year, I wanted to see it for myself. I know it seems strange. I live in New York. You'd think I'd go, but I never do. This year, I said I want to go and see that parade, and I wanted to have company, so I invited my good friends Max Weinberg. Max agreed to come, and our show's announcer Joel Goddard. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joel in a natural moment, and uh... <laughs> well, anyway, I was excited, and, and they, it turns out they hadn't been either, so we all went to the parade this morning, uh, a couple hours ago, and uh, best of all, we took a camera with us. Yeah, we took a camera, and uh, when I got here to work, I dropped the, uh, the film off at the uh, photo printing uh, shack, the photo shack, and uh, an hour later, I still can't get over it. The pictures were ready. I have them right here. And I thought, instead of just looking at them myself, what if I shared them with all of you people? You want to see our thing? Isn't that nice? I think so. All right, then. That's nice. Yeah. If they hadn't applauded, I'd be screwed. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, this is a little piece we're going to call Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Photos. It's nice. Well, here they are. Here are the photos. Uh, I'll start going through them one by one. First of all, Max, Joe, and I got to the parade nice and early. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were all really excited. Got a nice photo of us being excited. Yeah, it was <laughs> excited and a little gay. Uh, it was four hours before the parade actually began. Uh, but somehow we managed to stay excited. Yeah. <laughs> chosen our spot we were ready to go a little later joel said i can't believe william h macy puts on this parade every year <laughs> anyway max said you're an idiot joel it's not william h macy's parade it's macy gray's parade <laughs> i said guys you're both wrong it's the store macy's max said whatever you say brainiac <laughs> Joel thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> That's either Joel laughing or shrieking in pain. <laughs> hard to tell. You know, a lot of the floats were very hard to see. Fortunately, I brought binoculars. <laughs> Max brought a telescope. And Joel replaced his real eyeballs <laughs> with eagle eyeballs. <laughs> That's just stupid and sick. Well, anyway, that made me queasy, just looking at those eyeballs. <laughs> then, wouldn't you know it, some dads with kids on their shoulders stood right in front of us. There I am. I might be swearing, I don't know. Uh, I, politely <laughs> I politely asked one of them to move down a little bit. It was very nice. And his son told me to cram it. <laughs> So we solved the problem with the help of three other kids. <laughs> That's sure the problem right there, yeah. Then the, uh, then the first balloon came by. <laughs> it was Betty Boop. Yeah, that was exciting, yeah. Max started panting like a dog and he screamed, I love you, Betty. I said, That's pretty pathetic, Max, getting sexually aroused by a balloon. Just then, the SpongeBob SquarePants balloon passed by. Joel pulled his pants down, howled like a wolf, and screamed, It's all for you, SpongeBob. Take it all. <laughs> by the way, that's available as a postcard when you leave the show. Then a cop jabbed Joel with his nightstick and said, Settle down, pervert. At this point, it started to get really cold. But I had an idea. <laughs> I said, it's Thanksgiving, so how about a little turkey? <laughs> well, we, we then started to drink some wild turkey. <laughs> and soon we were all quite drunk. <laughs> when I get drunk, I take part of my shirt off. It's just what I do. Anyway, he got really drunk, then Max said, Hey, we're big stars. Why aren't we in the parade? Joel and I said, yeah, you're right. So we jumped on the next float that went by. And as it turns out, it was the Sesame Street float. 
I said, beat it, Elmo. No one wants to see your red furry ass. That's when Cookie Monster hit me with a tire iron. And Elmo gave Max a pile driver. Apparently, he's been a professional wrestler, yeah. Joel said, you guys can't do that to my friends. So Cookie Monster stuck a helium tube in Joel's mouth. And quickly, Joel inflated. Soon, Joel was drifting away. Max yelled, we've got to do something. Just then, SpongeBob showed up and sexually assaulted Joel. <laughs> then Joel popped, as children watch, then Joel popped and started to fly around wildly. Joel fell to the ground in a lifeless heap. <laughs> Fortunately, I remembered my CPR training and I started reinflating Joel. Soon, Joel returned to almost his normal shape. It was the best Thanksgiving Day parade ever. We had a good time. A good time. All right, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Stick around. We come back. Al Frank is here. We'll see you in a minute.